Hello Goinkans, hope you are all fine. Students, today we are going to understand a new topic that is subtraction of fractions. Let's begin. At the end of this video, students will be able to subtract the fractions. In order to understand how to subtract fractions, let's take example. We have 2 upon 5 and we have 3 upon 10. Students here, the fractions are unlike. So, if we have to add or subtract the fraction unlike fractions, first of all, we have to convert unlike fractions to like fractions. So, here, first step is we'll convert unlike fractions into the like fractions by finding the LCM of their denominators. As we know here, the denominators are 5 and 10. So, the LCM of 5 and 10 is equal to 10. Now, students, we have to make denominator of each fraction equal to the LCM that is equal to 10. So, taking the first fraction, we have 2 upon 5. So, 2 upon 5, by which number will multiply 2 upon 5 to get the denominator equal to 10? Yes, we will multiply both numerator as well as denominator by 2. So, here 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Now, students, taking another fraction, we have 3 upon 10. Now, students, here the denominator is already 10, so we need not to change its denominator. Therefore, the two fractions are 4 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10. Now, students, the fractions are like fractions. Now, we will write common denominator that is 10 and we have to only subtract the numerator so 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 upon 10 so 1 upon 10 is the answer i hope students this is clear let's try one more example we have 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 8. See here students, first of all, what we have to do, we have to find out LCM of the denominator. So here LCM of 3 comma 8 is equal to 24. Now, making the denominator of each fraction equal to 24, let's take the first fraction. We have 1 upon 3. So, by which number we will multiply 1 upon 3 to get the denominator equal to 24? Yes, answer is 8. So, we will multiply both numerator as well as denominator by 8. So, 1 times 8 is equal to 8 and 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Now, taking another fraction, we have 1 upon 8. So, by which number we'll multiply both numerator and denominator to get the denominator equal to 24? Yes, we will multiply both numerator as well as denominator by 3. So, 1 times 3 is equal to 3 and 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So, therefore, two fractions are 8 times 8 upon 24 minus 3 upon 24. Now, we will write the common denominator that is 24 and we will subtract the numerators only. So, here 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 upon 24. I hope student this is clear to you. Now, I hope you can try question number 1 of exercise number 6 which is in your book on page number 75. Thank you very much.